Hello everybody. We're going to begin today's story with this woman, Mary Livingston. Mary's Scottish parents had arrived at Port Chalmers in September 1849. Mary was born near Moiraki in 1850, and her younger sister Margaret was also born there in 1852. But towards the end of 1852, the family came to farm here at Tyree Beach. Some time later, this guy, Samuel Edwy or Edwin Green, enters our story. He was born in Leicester in 1838, but left England as a young man, arrived in Australia in 1858, and then moved to New Zealand in 1861. He too became a farmer in South Otago. In 1870, he gave this watercolour of the Livingstons' farm, which he had painted himself, to Mary Livingston as a gift. In 1872, a number of other works by Mr. S. E. Green, then of Balclutha, went on display in a Dunedin shop. They included views of Tapa Nui, South Mavora, the Bay at Queenstown, and several other scenic spots he'd captured during his travels in Otago and Southland. When an Otago Art Society formed in 1876, Samuel Green became a member and is said to have exhibited at the Society's first annual exhibition. In 1878, Cooper and Bailey's circus troupe and menagerie played for a week in Dunedin, then packed in 57 carriages and pulled by three locomotives, the circus rolled into Milton. Every man and his dog from the surrounding district, over 5,000 people, including Samuel Green along with his collie Nell, seemed to have shown up to watch the extravaganza. Perhaps Samuel also took Mary Livingston with him. And perhaps that ignited a fit of jealousy that caused Nell to run off and Samuel to post a reward for her return. Less than a month later, on the 23rd of April 1878, 40 year old Samuel Green, then of Waihola, and 27 year old Mary Livingston of Tyree Beach, were married in the Congregational Church in Dunedin and settled into married life together at Tyree Mouth. They would produce a family of seven children, although not all survived to adulthood. Samuel appears to have continued to paint and occasionally exhibit, such as at the Dunedin Industrial Exhibition in 1881, throughout much of his life. In 1917, Mary passed away. She was in her 67th year. When he passed away in 1935, Samuel was the ripe old age of 97. He had become a member of the Otago Early Settlers Association in 1922. Some of his children would also become members. And in 1944, his daughter Joanna donated several of her father's paintings to the museum including the treasured gift that Samuel E. Green had given to his future bride, Mary Livingston, back in 1870. That's it for this episode. See you next time, and thanks for watching.